what just changed my life. I knew from the start that I really wanted to um, keep making pots and um, from there I decided to go to school and study um, ceramics, 3D art and I've loved it ever since so that's kind of where it all began was here. Um, so I took pottery first in high school. Um, I took pottery by Camille Johnson who is here in Twin Falls. Um, she was the pottery teacher there, still is, and is still one of my very best friends. I have a, a deep emotional attachment to pottery. Um, it helped me a lot through my adolescence and my teenage years, and and knowing that I could just sit with my headphones on and and look down and just like make something with my hands. And sometimes it helps me not to think about it. I just kind of sit down and, and throw, and thoughts come to me, feelings come to me. Um, sometimes it makes me emotional. I don't always listen to music when I throw because I just feel a lot of stuff. It helps me process my stress and things like that. So as far as art forms go there, I think it's it's really helpful. Um, but as far as creating art, an artistic piece for me, that comes more with the glazing part, not just um, the making of it on the pottery wheel. Because when you glaze it, it really becomes its finished piece. So the colors that you add, the lines, the, the textures, everything like that, really makes it come become an art, an art form. So, I mean, even in my college years, I realized I like fine lines, I like crisp, clean lines from dipping or making sure that my pieces are really clean and the craft is really nice. Um, so as I create and make, I kind of think more along that clean line um, preference that I have. Uh, and I think it's kind of just developed from there and it will continue to grow. I definitely want to experiment more with um, like underglaze, transfers, different designs and stuff like that. But as far as my personal style, I would think that it's, it's pretty consistent. I guess as a potter, I want to provide people with a connection through pots, through an art form that they can take home and use in their house. It's, it's a different kind of art than, it's a, a beautiful painting and I love looking at paintings, but putting that something on your wall is different than using it in your kitchen or serving somebody when they come. Um, so, I mean, providing that connection and making that into a job has been a very rewarding experience. And it teaches me, myself, patience, because sometimes I wish it was just as easy to make something, pop it off the wheel, and have it be completely finished and sell it. But it takes so much time. Um, lots of people put in orders, and they're so kind to put in orders, but usually it takes me sometimes a month, month and a half to get things completely finished. Um, and I feel like that's also what you pay for. You pay for the quality and you pay for the time um, and you pay for the, the time it took for the artist to um, make the concept and then bring it to life. And I, I think that's what a lot of people, I wish that people knew that, um, that potters dedicate so much more than just their materials to their, to their work.